Hello everyone, it's Dr. Dickinson, and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to use Google Sheets to analyze your data. So let's get started. Once you're in Google Drive, you wanna click on New, and then just go to Sheets. It's gonna open up a sheet just like Microsoft Excel where you'll have rows and columns, and this will be where you enter your data. So let's just say that I have um, three categories. I'm gonna put my data for my student's performance. One might be their level of proficiency. So if my students are proficient, maybe they're performing at an 80% to 100% accuracy in the standard. I might not have another group called approaching proficiency. And that would be 79 to 65, and then below, which might be 64 to zero. Okay, so that's just gonna help me think about benchmarks where I want my students to be. Now up above, I can start entering my data and then we'll show you how to put this into a pretty table. Now it helps just in terms of a proficiency or efficiency if you already have your data analyzed. So if you have 10 questions and your students get seven out of 10, then that would be 70% and they would be in the approaching category. So once you've calculated where your students fall in these three levels, proficient, approaching, and below, then you could put it into the Google spreadsheet. Make sure you put a title here. So we'll just do sixth grade math. So I'll be talking about some sixth grade math standards. And let's say I want to analyze their performance and see how I might group students in three categories on the assessment. Writing equations, graphing equations, and then solving. All right, so I have my three standards that I'm looking at that were based on my assessment. I'm going to put my categories here so I know where each of my students are. So proficient, approaching, and then below. Okay, now let's put in our data. Now it helps, again, if you just know what percent proficient. So I'm going to say that, let's just say that 70% of my students are proficient at writing an equation. So... I can either put in 0.7, which is 7 tenths, and then just click on the percent sign here, or I can enter as 70%. So 70% were pro proficient, maybe 20% were approaching. Let's see, I need to click on percent here. And then 10% were below. I remember I have to put the decimal here. All right, and we'll do the same for the next category, which is graphing equations. So let's say 40, four tenths, and I'm gonna put percent. All right, and then solving equations, let's say 0.5, so half of my students were proficient, and maybe 0.25, 25% were not proficient, which would mean that 25% are below proficient. Now you don't have to use percent if you wanna just put the numerical value for each, um, just counting, like seven out of 10, you can also do that as well. Now that I have all of my data entered into this graph, all I need to do is highlight the graph as such. And then I just click on this little icon here, which says insert chart. And here we go. You can see um, my data is analyzed. And so for writing equations, 70% are proficient approaching 20% and writing 10% below. Okay, so hopefully this spreadsheet tutorial was helpful for you and please feel free to review and ask any questions 
in our YouTube channel. Thanks so much. And uh, look forward to hearing your questions for our next class.